So Rudy did respond, and basically it was a private message to the Patreons. And then one of his Patreons texted me last night. So I've been sitting on this for a little bit in time. You can watch his video. His video is watchable. And it is just a private link. Uh, the reason that he deleted his video, let's just kind of take it from Rudy's mouth. Now, understand that Rudy is not making this public for everybody. He wants his Patreon to feel very special, right? Oh, you guys are the only ones who know. So, deleted YouTube video. After receiving over 1,000 plus private Patreon messages, here is a response. Due to misinformation and bizarre response videos popping up all over the place, I feel a response like this needed to ensure speculation doesn't run wild. Yesterday's video was titled a depressing video. In this video, I go through Magic, FOB, MetaZoo, and the continued weakness in these markets. I criticize management of all companies in the slow reaction to a post-COVID world when I feel fast adjustments need to be made. In the middle of the video, I transition from bashing Hasbro's management and layoffs to discussing my frustration and concern that all flesh and blood sealed boxes are selling below map minimal levels on the open market, eBay and TCG Player. I actually called it TCG Gaylor. Gaylor. And even with the price difference, the license, the actual sales volume is scary low. That is not good at all. Oh, wow, this guy knows about liquidity. Color me surprised, right? Wow. I am shocked this guy is talking about liquidity of all things, right? Since May 2021, Monarch First Edition and the large ramp up in print runs, the secondary market continues to struggle to hold on in the USA. Many local game stores continue to reach out to me asking for me to buy all their sealed fab boxes since they are getting warning notices from L LSS due to price declines online. As I started turning down all offers from other LGSs, uh, those LGSs hit me up. I'm interested in buying fab. Hit me up. Word started to spread that I was no longer buying sealed fab and speculation took over that something is very wrong. My theory is LSS has a stronger data in other regions of the world that does not reflect the same data I see in the USA. This creates a mismatched perspective. My next theory revolves around Rudy and the average person's negative view on me and my impact on CCGs. As the years has progressed, LSS continues to receive public pushback from me selling boxes privately on Patreon and not on to the public on a public platform. I don't think that's right because all you have to do is become a Patreon member. So it's not, that's like saying like Amazon is not public. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like saying Amazon is private. It doesn't make any sense. You just pay a membership and you get to buy. What's the difference? After going weeks and then months with no patrons buying sealed fab boxes, I start lowering prices in 2023. I realized my prices were way too high and patrons told me they were buying on TCG Player and were frustrated with me. Again, Alpha Investment does not have the lowest prices on a lot of this stuff, guys. As the anger from people who dislike me grows, this increases the pressure on LSS to back away. The first indication that this process was starting was the removal of all code foil promos after Monarch First Edition release, excluding Gem Keeper Project. Around 11 months later, I was notified by anger and pushback of having playmats made to offer the Patreons. Yeah, but why should he get this special treatment today? He hasn't... I don't understand. Like, I really don't get what he's like complaining about. No one else gets these special playmats. Around 11 months later, I was notified about anger and pushback of having playmats made to offer the patrons. Playmats were the next item to get removed. I have no idea what anger was happening due to exclusive playmats. This was a big learning experience for me. Fast forward to 45 days. Doesn't he get like sorcery playmats as well? But then there was like some problem with that and then they were mad. 
uh, LGSs and other individuals always screenshot these messages and post them on social media. This led to the next update from LSS, which was a re request to raise all Patreon pricing to $88 plus a box, $356 a case. I expressed concern that the sales were so low at the current pricing that increasing all the pricing by 20-30% would essentially zero out all sales moving forward. History has taught me that any sale with Patreon pricing at or above market price causes account closures and angle, anger followed by why am I paying a $15 a month? What a scam. I'm out. Yeah, that is a scam. I mean, why would you pay $15 a month if you, for the opportunity to buy higher boxes for more money? Like It doesn't make any sense. I continue to express my concern about the amount of supply in the U.S. and I'm very worried. Moving forward, we agreed to offer the new sets on release date to patrons and then wait for the next set. We agree that removing the monthly list of fab products is the agreeable solution. I released yesterday's a depressing video expressing my frustration and the slow decline across the board in MTG, Pokemon, Fab, Zoo. Legend Story Studio has been became extremely angry with me due to fab section of that. So it was Legend Story Studio. It wasn't MetaZoo. This also caused employees at LSS to close their own Patreon accounts due to the negative video. Oh, wow. That's how he knew. The employees at LSS had Patreon accounts. I chose to delete the video from YouTube as the anger from LSS was far more severe than... Hey, man, maybe I throw... Hey, you guys in the U.S. that are trying to sell boxes to this dude who doesn't want them, hit me up. I chose to delete the video from YouTube as the anger from LSS was far more severe than ever imagined. I have not heard back from LSS at this point in time, and I don't know if they are going to want to work to, with me moving forward due to my negativity on the overall market, including Fab. I feel the public perspective on card prices and reprint policies have shifted so dramatically in the last two years. Most opinions on social media have been begging for the banning and removal of Rudy. This has already there has already been an attempt at MTG Pokemon and Weiss. I don't know why he's not big in Pokemon, is he? He's not big in Weiss. I expect this to continue with Fab until successful. Okay, so he's worried about Fab. I'm estimate I have two to three years before this shifts to sorcery TCG. Yeah, this is like this is like a Ponzi scheme, guys. <laughs> like, come on, think about what's happening here. These communities don't want him. Like, these game stores don't want him. Like, he's, he's undercutting them, guys. In a long enough time frame, I do believe the loud voices online will get there and get their wish. Get their, oh okay, yeah, wish and secede. I hope LSS chooses to wor still work with me and allow me to do unique cards and fun promos in the future. I hope to have a long-term relationship and do cool shit for many years. If I get any update from James LSS, I will inform patrons what the future of Fab will be here. I fully expect this to be screenshotted and shared all over the place. If you want to watch the deleted video, you can click the link. The link is actually on my comments too. I'll pin whoever puts up the link first. I fully expect this to be shared all over the internet, but I have no intentions of making the video public on YouTube due to how upset it made other people I care about. I film so many videos in advance, I don't always realize how bad the video may feel to viewers. So a truthful video. I'm hoping for the best, but trying mentally to prepare for the worst. Happy New Year, Rudy, with a cat emoji. 6 9 6 9 <laughs> Oh, man. Imagine if the cards continue to crash, right? Wow, that would be pretty bad for Rudy Chan, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll analyze this in another video, but basically I wanted to get this out there because why not? I mean, you guys deserve to know the truth. Uh, it was LSS, not MetaZoo. And certainly it wasn't Hasbro. People saying, oh, it was Hat. No, Hasbro doesn't give a shit about this guy. <laughs> they never have. They don't listen to him. They don't watch him. All these secret sources he has inside Hasbro, I wonder if they lost their job or kept their job, right? I wonder, like, how, how weird would it be, like, just, like, talking shit on your own company to this random dude online and telling him, like, oh, uh, Ravnica remastered, limited set, Rudy, Rit limit, like, disc and then they, they go through your computer and they're like, wait, this is the guy. 
<laughs> and then and he loses his job. Yikes. Uh, anyway, um, this is savage. Savage, LSS. I love it. 